Hi, this is Chris Jobling. I'm uh, one of the participants on the course, uh, Future Learning course, Blended Learning Essentials. And we've been asked as part of exercise three to uh, show, show off a learning object within one of our VLEs. So this is the one I'm going to produce. This is our vir virtual learning environment is called is Blackboard. We call it My Studies in the university. And I'm in a course that we use for practical exercises in developing uh, microcontroller code for uh, little robots. So we have a group project that uh, we have this. And one of the exercises is to, to introduce students to version control, which is quite an important uh, skill to have when you're developing software in Teams. So we introduce them to this version control system with Git. Uh, and this probably ticks a few boxes because the actual thing I'm going to show you is based on uh, an open educational resource and uh, we've, we've put it into a format that makes it I think easier for the students to use and guides them through an exercise in using this software tool. Um, I'm going to demonstrate something in Black, which Blackboard calls a uh, lesson a learning module which is like an encapsulated uh, piece of content with a table of contents sort of thing. So if I click on that you'll, you'll, you'll take us into the system and we're seeing things as, as I see them as the developer. It's difficult to show as a student because this particular exercise is not yet live on, the, on our system. It's going to be used in a couple of in, uh, weeks, a few days' time. But as you can see, there's a table of contents down here, various exercises, and you start off by uh, signing up for a Git account, downloading a client software, and then you start doing some version control and this bit is the open access stuff this is actually come from an open educational resource called uh, version control with git which is actually a freely usable piece of software that i can uh, adapt from, from the license although the link appears to be broken so i'm going to have to fix that uh, later today um so there we go that's it's, this is, as I said, based on some uh, open educational resource, but I've broken it down into, into steps. And the thing I want to show you in particular are these, this feature called, uh, called um, adaptive release. So in this, in this presentation, when the students come to it, they'll see the first item in the list, and there'll be a little eye icon at the side here which says they have to review it. So a little bit like the the way we tick off things in the future learning thing as we finish them. So the first thing to do is to sign up an account. This tells them how to, how to do it following this link. Um, we'll take them to the site where they have to sign up and then they can do the uh, signing up process and then they can click the item has been reviewed. But the next item here, if we look at it, sorry the wrong button there, if we look at its uh, setup we see that it's actually got what's called uh, adaptive release turned on. So if I click there, you'll see that the conditions for the students accessing that piece of content, the next piece of content, is that they've already seen the, the previous one, which was the signing up one. So I've actually set this up so that the students are forced to work through this in a sequence, which also to make sure that they do everything otherwise they just jump straight to the assessment. In addition to that, each step is revealed after the next step is completed until we get to this one where we have a little quiz, sort of formative assessment similar to what we've been doing in the FutureLearn course. Some simple questions, they have to answer, get some feedback if they're correct. And the next step here, the actual assessed exercise, they can't get to that until they achieve a score of at least 70% on the quiz but they can do the quiz as many times as they need to to get to that score and then the exercise itself starts here to do various things with the git tool to prove that they can actually use it so it's authentic and they continue working through reviewing each step as they go until they get to the end and then as a prize uh, when they finish the whole exercise they get access to the source code they're actually going to need to develop their micromouse little robot when they 
when they get to the end. So this final step is, is given to them when they've achieved this step. So this is a system where you can sort of control the access through a system and, and give them, um, um, make them review things, uh, make things available only after they've completed a quiz and achieve a certain mark and you can branch and all these kind of things. It's not the easiest tool to use in, in Blackboard Learn, but it is useful for these kinds of exercises where you wish a student to go through a sequence in order to, to learn something. So it might be a useful resource for those people who are using Blackboard. I'm sure there are similar features within Moodle, but uh, our site is, is Blackboard, so that's what we use. Um, well, thanks for watching. I hope that was useful to you, and I'll post this on the Padlet wall and in, in the on my own blog, so you can get to see the video again. And again, once again, thanks for watching.